Welcome everybody to episode 3 of What Are Their Chances? In the last episode, we gave Paper Mario, Waluigi, Sora, Bandana D, and Rillaboom their chance score of what they have of getting into Smash, plus my personal want score for them. So in this episode, we will be looking at Steve from Minecraft, Professor Egad from Luigi's Mansion, Captain Toad from Mario, Spyro from Spyro, and Funky Kong from Donkey Kong, and we'll be giving them their chance score and my want score of how, what, they're, what, what happened in Smash with them. So with that said, let's get right into it. So the first character we'll be looking at is Steve from Minecraft. Does he have a chance? Yeah, I think he definitely does, but it's not that, that, that high. So what does Steve have going for him? For the first thing that Steve has is that Minecraft is an incredibly, incredibly popular game. It sold in incredibly well, and people are still playing it, even though the game is... Like, isn't it like nine years old or eight years old now? Even though it's that old, people are still playing it. And no, it's not like a, a Mario Kart Wii thing. It, it, it's, it's, it's a completely different thing. So yeah, Minecraft sold incredibly well and is still incredibly popular to this day. And Steve has also gotten a lot of character requests to be in Smash. And would also have an incredible moveset. And really unique one, especially if he can like craft and build stuff. That would be awesome. But I don't think Steve will get in as a fighter. I think he will get in as a me costume. I think he would be much more likely to fit in there. Especially with the next thing I'm about to say for why uh, Steve wouldn't be put in. We already have a Microsoft character in Banjo-Kazooie. Sure, Banjo-Kazooie is owned by Rare. And it was a rare occasion that he got in. Heh, <laughs> funny pun. But yeah, Rare was bought out by Microsoft. So if you t if technically we already have a Microsoft character in the game. And I'm not exactly sure if they'd include another one. I like, like I said, I don't think that's too big of a drawback for Steve. But what is a big drawback is that he's most likely going to end up being a me costume. Actually, I take that back because they're only giving the me costume to, to the me gunner. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, they really do need to give the special costume to the other me characters. And I think Steve would be the perfect one to represent the me sword fighter. I don't really think that Steve would be chosen to be an actual character. As much as the unique moves that he would have, I think that just being a me costume is honestly the most likely spot for Steve because it has Minecraft enough. It has enough Minecraft representation, and and it's just enough Minecraft representation for the fact that Steve doesn't have to be a character. If you, if you get what I'm saying here. But yeah, I don't think we're going to have two Microsoft characters in this game. And overall, I just think a me costume is the most likely spot for him. I can't really think of much else to say for Steve. I mean, he has a lot of character requests and Minecraft is an incredibly popular game. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if he got represented somehow. But I just think that a me costume is the must, is the much more likely chance for him to get in. With all this said, I give Steve from Minecraft a chance score of 30%. Minecraft is an incredibly popular game, and he has lots of character requests, and Minecraft sold incredibly well, and it's still relevant to this day, and I definitely think we'll get some Minecraft representation somehow, but I think a me costume is just the mo the most likely spot for him to get in. As much of a unique moveset he would have, I just see him getting in as a, a me costume, only because we already have a Microsoft character in Banjo-Kazooie, so I don't think we'll get another one. For a want score... 95%. Not only do I love Minecraft, but the but the moveset potentials that he could have. I, I, I'm not imagining him using his sword or, or bow and arrow or anything like that for like a standard link kind of fighter. Nah. I'm imagining moveset potentials where he can craft things. Just imagine that. Just imagine that as a moveset in Smash. I, I, I think that would just be incredible. So I want him for that alone just to just to fill my dream. Anyway, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't think Steve is that likely to get in because of a me costume. But I do really, really want Steve because I like Minecraft and just solely for the incredible moveset potential he has. Next, we have Professor Egad, and th this is not happening. It, th th this just isn't happening. He, he may have had a chance in Mario Kart, but not here, definitely not in Smash. Uh, some may say he could be a promotion tool for Luigi's Mansion 3, but 
No. I, he's, I, there's no way he'd be included. And even if they were going to pro, uh, promote Luigi Mansion 3, King Boo is a much more likely option. And he's not even likely at all to begin with. I, I, he got just not going to happen. He does not have a lot of character requests. I, he, he, he's not a very popular Mario character. And definitely not popular compared to the likes of Waluigi, Captain Toad, Paper Mario, or Gino. Heck, even Goomba has a more likely chance than he does. I, I, I'm going to keep this short and simple. EGOT is not getting in. They want to promote Luigi's Mansion 3, King Boo. They want to go with the Mario character, Gino, Paper Mario, Waluigi, or T Captain Toad would be much more likely than EGOT is. D -d -d and he's not doesn't have a lot of requests either. So I just, Luigi, uh, EGOT is not going to happen. I, I'm sorry. So with all this said, EGOT gets a 0% chance score. There is nothing going for EGOT at all. They want to promote Luigi's Mansion, King Boo, want to go with the Mario character, Paper Mario, Waluigi, Gino, or Captain Toad. And, and, he's, and he's not got a lot of requests either. The, the EGAD just has nothing going for him. For a want score, 25%. Oh my gosh, a Mario character below 30%. What a shocker. I, I played Luigi's Mansion. I really liked uh, I really liked the series. I would just... And as cool as it would be to have an old man in the game... I, I'm not really for this. I think I'd, I'd honestly prefer a, a different Mario character to EGAD. I mean, I'd, I'd honestly be pretty mad with his inclusion, honestly, if he was put in over someone like Waluigi or Paper Mario or Captain Toad. And I don't think his moveset would be that unique either. Even if they incorporated the Poltergust and had all of its abilities from the, from the, the trilogy of Luigi's Mansion games, I just don't really think it'd be that interesting. So, yeah, I don't really want EGAD, and he's just not going to get it in Smash. I'm sorry. The next character we'll be talking about is Captain Toad. But honestly, you can either just count this as Toad or Captain Toad because uh, they both have the same chance score and want score for me, no matter which one you're talking about. So, yeah, I'm surprised that Toad or Captain Toad hasn't been featured in a, in a Smash Bros. game yet because Toad is such a staple to Mario. But in a, in a game like Smash Ultimate that's all about the fan service, I don't really think he'll make it in his DLC. Uh, he's definitely he's one of the most iconic characters in Mario for sure that that already isn't featured in Smash. I, so I think he could really get in because of how iconic he is, and he also has a good amount of requests too. But de definitely not as many as some others. But I definitely could see them putting in Captain Toad. But I, here's another thing holding them back. The same thing with Paper Mario. We already have a lot of Mario characters in the game. And for something like Smash Ultimate that's all about the fan service, I don't really see much of a chance for Captain Toad, honestly. I, I, I Like I said, he still has a lot going for him, like him being a popular and iconic Mario character. And he's got a good amount of requests. But there are definitely other Mario characters like Paper Mario and Geno that definitely have a much higher chance of, than Toad or Captain Toad does. Remember, I'm counting this as either or. But yeah, I still think he has a has a good chance of getting in. Okay, not good. A, like, a, okay, a 50-50% chance of getting in because of how iconic he is alone and because he's got a good amount of requests. But I think there's overall already a lot of Mario characters in the game. And if they're going to include another one, I think it'd most likely be Geno or Paper Mario. It's just the abundance of Mario characters that's really killing Captain Toad's chances for me. The same thing like Paper Mario is, is with Geno. Oh god, I made a reference to that. Now I spoiled it for you people. I haven't seen episode 2 already, so please watch it anyway. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. But yeah, with the abundance of Mario characters already in Smash... I don't think we're going to get more than two, or and if we were going to at least get two more, Paper Mario and Gino would definitely be the ones included over someone like Captain Toad. As much of an icon as Toad is, I in a game about fan service and popular requests, Captain Toad just wouldn't make the cut as opposed to someone like Gino or Paper Mario. So for Captain Toad's chance score, I give him a chance score of 50%. He's got, a, he's got a good amount of requests and is incredibly iconic to the Mario series. Remember, this is Captain Toad or Normal Toad. I just can't, don't want to put pictures for both. But, yeah, and again about fan service and with the abundance of Mario characters already in, I don't think we're going to get more than two more. And Gino and Paper Mario would definitely fill those spots. 
I, which I, I think, yeah, I just think that Captain Toad would not be the Mario character included if they were going to include two more. But, I mean, he's the third most likely. So he's not got, got that going for him. So if they were going to include three, which I don't think they're going to include three in one fighter pass, because then half the fighter pass would be Mario characters, which, I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't complain about that, but I'm sure a lot of people would. But yeah, Captain Toad, it, it just isn't going to be the character included. And, and they're going to choose another Mario character. For want score, 90%. I, it's a unlike EGAD, this continues the trend of it's a Mario character. I want it. So yeah, I just think Toad or Captain Toad both would have in, unique move sets in my opinion, especially Captain Toad since he could throw turnips, ride a minecart, use a pickaxe, and maybe his uh, he could stun people with his light on his head. That that would be pretty cool. So yeah, I think there's a lot of move set potential for Toad or Captain Toad. But I just don't think he'll be chosen actually to be put in the game over other Mario characters. So the next character we'll be talking about is Funky Kong. And there is little to no chance for this guy. I'm going to say that as much as it would be cool to have this swanky manky in the game, I, it's not going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No Donkey Kong character is really that requested. But if they were going to include another one, which I don't think they will because this... Because Smash Ultimate DLC is all about the fan service and popular picks. Dixie Kong would definitely be in the that character spot over Funky Kong. The second reason is Funky Kong works much better as a Echo Fighter to, to Donkey Kong. And they're not adding any more Echo Fighters in the game. If they had an Echo Fighter Fighters Pass, then maybe, maybe he would get in. But... I have not, but since this is going to be no Echo Fighters, and since Funky Kong can't possibly have his own unique moveset, alright, they could, but he plays way too much like Donkey Kong for him to have a unique moveset in the game. So yeah, there there is little to no chance for this guy. Uh, even if they promote Tropical Freeze, Dixie Kong is still the more likely character because Diddy Kong would have, I mean, yeah, Dixie Kong would have a much more unique moveset. Dixie Kong is much more requested and is much more iconic, as sad as it is to say, than Funky Kong is. So yeah, there's little to no chance to this guy unless they do uh, uh, Echo Fighter Fighters Pass, then I could see it. But we're not talking about an Echo Fighter Fighters Pass here. We're talking about Fighters Pass 2. So yeah, I, I don't think there's much of a chance for Funky Kong at all, sadly. So with everything I said, Funky Kong gets a chance score of, of 5%. Honestly, it's just my bias that's keeping him from uh, being a zero. Just So basically just consider that a zero, okay? I just don't want to type it out. Anyway, yeah, Funky Kong's not getting in. They were going to include another Donkey Kong character, which, like I said earlier, they're most likely not. It's going to be Dixie Kong because she's much more unique from Diddy Kong as as D Don Funky Kong is the Donkey Kong. And, and if they were going to do Echoes, I could see Funky Kong for that, but they're not. So, yeah, this, it's not going to happen. For a want score, 85% chance if he was an Echo, 0% if he was an actual new character from Donkey Kong. I, I, I just wouldn't want him if he was a completely different character. If they were going to do Echo Fires in the next game, yes, I would definitely want this swanky manky in. But, hey, I, yeah, yeah. I, he's definitely not going to be in this game, though. I, I'm sorry. So the last character we'll be talking about is Spyro. And as much as I hate to end this off on a bad note, Spyro is most likely not going to happen. Like Crash Bandicoot, uh, Spyro is owned by Activision, I believe. Which, I, that automatically brings his chances down significantly. Uh, because Crash Bandicoot is going to get in much much more likely than Spyro is. Just like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro did make a recent comeback, but definitely not as big as uh, Crash Bandicoot did. And he doesn't have a new game coming up, so Sakurai wouldn't use him to promote anything either. And he doesn't, and he's not as iconic as Crash Bandicoot, nor does he have as many requests as Bash Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, honestly, is really crashing his chances. Oh, pun! But in all seriousness, yeah, Crash is basically killing all of Spyro's chances here. And even if I am wrong about the fact that Spyro is owned by Activision, which I'm still pretty sure he is, uh, there's still many more third-party characters that are much more iconic and requested than Spyro is. 
So I still don't think there's much of a chance for him. He doesn't have a lot of character requests. He's not that I that iconic, even though he kind of is. And he's and he just doesn't have as many character requests as many other third party characters. All, all this said, I don't think he has a very high chance of getting in the game. So with all this said, Spyro gets a chance score of 10%. Honestly, Crash Bandicoot, if I'm right about um, Spyro being owned by Activision, is Spyro's main rival here. Crash Bandicoot is, is, is more likely in every single way than Spyro is. And even if I'm wrong about Spyro being owned by Activision, there are still many more iconic, heavily requested third-party characters than Spyro. And I just don't see it happening. There's many more characters that are much more iconic and popular than Spyro is, and I don't think he'd be chosen, let's say, over someone like Geno or Crash Bandicoot or Sora. I just don't think he'd be included. For a want score, however, I give Spyro a want score of 60%. I have never played a Spyro game ever, but another Purple Dragon along with Ridley would be really cool. So we can have Purple Dragon versus Purple Dragon. All jokes aside, from what I've seen of Spyro games, I think he'd have a really cool and unique move set, especially if his uh, uh, up special was kind of like Meta Knights and Charizards from Brawl, where they can like glide around. I think that'd be really cool. But I I never played a Spyro game, so I don't have the same feelings towards Spyro as I do other characters, which is why he's only at a sixty percent. Well, that concludes the five characters I I talked about, and wow. Looking back on it, this was an incredibly depressing episode. I just killed off most of these characters' chances com almost completely. Funky Kong and Egad were almost pre pretty much just killed off. Well, Egad was, but Funky Kong, you could pretty much cons just consider. It's just my bias that's keeping him from putting him at a zero. And Spyro, it, it barely has much of a chance either. Like I said, Steve has some sort of a chance because popular, but eh, it just wouldn't happen. And Captain Toad, iconic to Mario, but much more likely Mario characters will be put in over a spot. So when you know when Captain Toad is the most likely one here, you know that not that is not very good. So yeah, those are what I thought of these five characters' chances. Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? Let me know in the comments below. And stay tuned for part four. See you soon. Bye.